Folks in the house, how's everybody doing on Earth Day? Decided to try to use my natural light. It's one of these things that I wish my apartment had one more window. <laughs> it's got to just get a kick out of it. I uh, hope everybody is doing all right and uh, say hi to my uh, subscribers. Um, the eyes are a little messed up a little bit. I got allergies going through and they're, they're messing with the eyes. <laughs> so it's just like, wow. My allergy thing is just hilarious as sometimes they kick in and other times they don't. And then when they kick in, it's like, yeah, just strange. So Earth Day, uh, Oh my, uh, April uh, 1970, um, and uh, Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson is the one that got uh, behind this. Um, so April 22nd uh, became Earth Day. Uh, from uh, Wisconsin Senator, again, Gaylord Nelson. So one day of the year that the uh, people get together to save the world and then the other 364, they let it go to pot. It's pretty, not a bad ratio. <laughs> oh my. Um, UWM baseball, uh, they are 18 and 16. And I'm going to be, they had a link uh, with one of their game, their game yesterday. So uh, they ended up winning it. Um, Couple, they are 18 and 16. And a couple players that are of note is uh, Aaron Chapman. He's batting 381 in 118 uh, plate appearances. And Mark Connolly batting 346 um, with 133 plate appearances. So two uh, starters that are uh, hitting the ball pretty damn good. And then I uh, found a middle relief pitcher, Nick Gilhouse, it looks like. Um, has a 2.53 earner at an average in 15 games. So um, They did have a starter, but yeah, we'll just go with that. Nick Gilhouse, 2.53, 15 appearances. And like I say, I think he's a middle reliever. Um, he, he had one save, so I think, uh, if anything, he's maybe a guy in the like fifth, sixth inning that comes in. Uh, Movie-wise, I'm uh, going to kind of stick with uh, a family-based. Uh, last time I did romantic uh, movies, I've, you know what, I forgot to do one thing on that. Uh, but I'll, I'll get in our video. Is I'm doing family movies, and I 2005 Nanny McPhee. Um, basically, uh, I guess a modern version of a Mary Poppins type story. Just go out with that. So, and that was uh, Emma Thompson again, 2005. Then um, I had my parents over yesterday, and I was like, try to get something for my ma to watch. So we went with uh, Horse Dancer, 2017. Uh, more kid, uh, girl, uh, friendly uh, movie. Um, basically, uh, Gymnast fails to get into the Olympics, and she ends up going to a horse camp. And uh, my mom enjoyed it. I asked her if she liked it, and she did. So, um, again, more of a, it kind of has uh, the campfire song kind of thing going on every once in a while to bring it back to, like, a, a kid-friendly movie. Um, so it kind of goes from a kid-friendly to teenage uh, but for family-wise, like I say, I was trying to find something for my mom and change it up a little bit. So those are the ones that are more for all family uh, scenario. I think Horse Dancer would be more for the younger kids. And next one, uh, Man of the House, Tommy Lee Jones, uh, 2005. He ends up uh, having to protect uh, some cheerleaders in a sorority from uh, a killer that they uh, ended up seeing. Um, so, uh, decent comedy. That one's more uh, for everybody at all ages. So, those are my movies, and I uh, hope everybody enjoys Earth Day, and uh, have a good one.